So I'm here in the Peace Palace today together with Abdul. Abdul, could you please introduce yourself? Uh, thank you very much again. Uh, my name is Abdul Hafiz uh, Koruma. I'm uh, the National Coordinator of uh, Liberia's National Water Sanitation and Hygiene Promotion Committee. Um, working at, out of the Ministry of Public Works. Yeah, pa largely responsible for sector coordination and a lot of issues around water sanitation hygiene okay. in Liberia. And uh, can you tell me something about the reason why you're here today? Yeah, we're all excited to be in uh, Den Haag today, especially at the Peace Palace, um, celebrating World War Today. But we are particularly interested and very much excited at the fact that um, we are concluding a long road of uh, thematic dis discussions mm -hmm. uh, on the global theme, water sanitation, hygiene, water resource management, and all other streams uh, within uh, water. Yeah. And we think that these discussions today are going to be quite fruitful. And the very fact that we are part of these discussions and bringing our experiences from the South and looking to see how we blend those with our, our partners in the development community and uh, uh, you know other developed uh, societies. We think uh, it's, it's quite an opportunity for us to uh, link up and see how we build synergies uh, to solve water problems, not only in Africa, but I mean globally and, 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 and we think that's something we are quite ecstatic about. Yeah, and uh, can you give me one example of a successful solution or something that you have been experiencing in Liberia the past years? Yeah, Liberia, for example, um, had signed up to the SWAP partnership. But one of those things that for us we saw as uh, a key landmark achievement with, with regards to some of the initiatives on the SWAP was supporting processes like NPRI, which are the uh, National Planning for Results Initiatives. Mm -hmm. That led the government of Liberia to uh, commission a huge mapping exercise uh, in 2011 as part of support to NPRI. And that, um, as, is, as is clearly out now, we have this huge database of uh, 10,000 water points that uh, we currently use for planning, uh, okay. not only for uh, investment, but for equity. And this has been quite an exciting uh, development in, in, in Liberia in terms of what we've been doing to, uh, to, to, to work SWA and other, other initiatives uh, globally. Yeah. Sounds great. And is there going to be a follow-up of these mapping? Definitely. We, we've been working with a lot of partners. Um, ACVO from the Netherlands, we've been working with UNICEF, we've been working with other local partners to ensure that we can carry out something called continuous monitoring with those uh, water points and that we can ensure that our services are sustained through those processes. So it's not just about the technology and how we do it, but to see that it really gives us some real tangible results yeah. as in sustainability of services. And I want to point to work longer and better for the citizens. And we think if these tools can help us to uh, uh, build up on what we've done with the water point mapping exercise, we're quite happy to explore more into, into, into this. Great. Sounds very good. Thank yes. you very much, Abdul. And it's really been a pleasure being yeah. here with you. And have a good day. You too. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>